1916, the colonial site speaker agreement carved up the Uthmani Khilafah. They drew lines in the sand, creating artificial borders, identities and nations, resulting in disunity amongst the ranks of the Muslims. From being a singular entity, united under one banner, one Amir, one state, under La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, the Ummah became 50 plus nation states each with their own borders, flags, and national interests. And to ensure nationalism was deeply rooted within us, the colonialists poisoned us and poisoned our minds through the education, political, and social systems under the supervision of the nationalistic puppet Muslim rulers. Yet today, we see the rotten fruits of nationalism. We have witnessed Gaza ask, where are the Arab rulers? Where are the Muslim rulers? Where are the armies? But no one responded. Instead, we've seen the true depiction of nationalism in the treachery of the Muslim rulers towards Palestine. Why all this treachery? Why? Because Palestinian Muslims are not Egyptian, Turkish, Saudi or Jordanian. They were not born in these nation states and they do not represent their flags. It is for this reason that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said about nationalism from Asia to Africa and from America to Europe. We have wiped away the lines in the sand. And now one thing is clear for us. Palestine is not a Palestinian issue, nor is it an Arab issue. It is an Islamic issue. <laughs> My brothers in the army, we are with you. Allah is with you. Brothers, sisters, friends, the colonialist West, they decided to put lines in the sand to stop you from uniting under Islam, to stop you from crossing them to liberate the land of Palestine. These lines resemble the cracks in the pavement when you as a child were told not to step on. A lie told to you in order to fool you. These lines in the sand, you were told not to cross, not to step on, were drawn by the colonialists to fool you. We stand here today to make our demands. We stand here to make our demands to those in the professional armies in the Muslim lands. Don't care about international law. Don't care about international law. Care only for your duty to Allah. You must end the occupation and they must withdraw. <laughs> to gain your salvation and march, march 
approach to the only one destination, not a two-state nation, not a one-state secular nation, but only one destination, the destination of liberation. In 1917, Britain marched to Gaza and then onto Al-Quds, liberate mankind from the Western-led world order. Takbir! Takbir! Takbir!